Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I have a you know I have a Juniper SRX a 300, and which I will uh, show you how to perform a very basic configuration. You know, um, just the basic thing on this SRX 300. So I have the unit right here. Show version. Oh uh, look, um, when this uh, message right here happens, uh, the problem is not a problem. You know, the the, the basically this particular SRX was working in a cluster configuration as a node so um, it basically you know what happened was maybe you know they just just disconnect the equipment and they don't erase the configuration that's why you cannot execute any command here do not show a routing engine for example So uh, basically, uh, we need to remove that cluster configuration, you know, from the SRX, and that you did you execute this one, the follow with the following command: show chassis, set chassis, a cluster, cluster, uh, disable, reboot. So that will reboot the unit, you know, and after that we are executing, you know, the basic command configuration. But we need to remove this. From the cluster, right, let me show you the configuration of the cluster. Show chassis cluster status. Status. You know that's why you know that unit was connected on the uh, on the cluster configuration. That's why we need to erase this particular uh, uh, configuration set chassis cluster disable. Reboot. That will reboot the unit. It will take a couple minutes. So we need to wait until the unit complete boot. And after that, you know, uh, like I said, we are just executing, you know, a few uh, the, you're not diagnostic command. Well, diagnostic command, but just a basic, you know, uh, SRX configuration. So just let's wait. So guys, basically, you know, the unit just com reboot completely. So let's just uh, execute the. Com well, guys, the unit just got uh, complete reboot. So let's just you know execute the basic configuration on the chassis. So now we can just run you know judge the basic command. You know, before uh, we cannot execute any command because of the uh, cluster configuration. You know, we remove the node from there, and now we are ready to go. Uh, show chassis hardware detail so basically so we are going to um, edit and into into the configuration mode edit, and from there we need to X you know delete delete a system from dash home and you execute delete Chassis auto image upgrade statement not found and uh, maybe the command is not the CTP which is the zero touch configuration protocol is not activated by the foul on this particular uh, Junos OS. Another another Junos OS you, the unit try to upgrade as connect to a, C, a CSTP server to transfer an image. So basically, so we are going to uh, assign a password to the root user. Set set system root play Juniper web. Um, I recommend create another user just in case you know. I mean, you know, different user, you know, beside root. So I will assign another user. Set system login user Carlos and authentication plain that password and the password for Carlos. And we need to define what type of user is Carlos you know so in this case will be set system login user Carlos class 
super user. So basically we create, you know, the root password, the Carlos user. Now we are uh, assigned, we are, uh, you know, activating the SSH service on the SRX. Set system services. SSH, uh, root logging allow. You know, to allow the root user to connect via SSH. And now we need to, uh, you know, set the unprocessed zone, you know, Basically, what we are doing here is, you know, um, allow to the uh, to the inter to SSH service uh, connect to the one over the one interface. In this particular uh, SRX, the uh, the one interface or the public interface or the uncross interface is the interface GE dash zero slash zero slash zero. So basically, we are doing that at set security zones zones security zone and trust uh, interfaces and the interface is right here so the interface uh, and trust is this one right here so that the, the, the interface will connect to the one you know so GE dash zero slash zero slash zero that one and then host inbound traffic system services ssh and uh, very much this is everything you know just a basic configuration and if you want to assign you know like uh, um like uh, a host name you can also you can set system Hostname, set back, and enter. And then we can commit the changes. Commit the changes, and you know, basically, that's pretty much very basic, you know, SSH configuration. So now you can send the unit, you know, to the data center, for example, and the engineer can access the unit using, you know, the SSH service. Yeah, the password can be, I mean, the user can be root or can be carlos as well so so basically you know the commit is complete so we can exit from here so basically you know it's the commit is complete we exit from here exit so uh i saw an error right here you know when the unit boot and this is very common sometimes uh, based on the snapshot uh, and look at that this one right here both media has a dual root support and what happened is you know the uh, the snapshot primary and secondary partition they have a different operating system let me show you how to how to you know it's not a big deal but you know i mean if you send a unit to a customer clean with no errors they will be you know more uh, satisfied with the problem that's for sure so, and then we show system snapshot media internal internal. Look at that, and that is the backup partition. And look at that, you know, the backup partition right there. They have a different, uh, you know, uh, Junos OS and up and up and up partition, and the other partition is the uh which is the primary is the the one that is is running right now so let me i uh, just you know run a command in order you know to change that or delete that or get rid of the that particular system log so basically we need to just execute request system snapshot slice alternate and enter this will take a, a few minutes for sure yeah and enter and that you know basically they will form for you know format you know the 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 partition the alternate partition and then will copy the operating system to the another snapshot partition and you remove the unit and you get rid of that system log of that error it's not an error it's not a big deal but you know it's, it's very a good practice you know to send uh, a hardware device with no errors 
So just let's wait until the process is complete. So basically, you know the um, the apparently you know the uh, the backup partition was a uh, uh, format already. Let's let's just check. Let's see. <coughs> And there we go guys look at that so before you know the uh the backup partition the operating system was here look at that and uh since we execute you know request system of not chopped as light alternate you know that form of the partition and copy the operating system you know from the primary partition to the backup partition now we have you know this both operating system in both partition well guys this is everything for today thank you so much for your time I really appreciate it and uh, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel uh, give me a like and share with your friends and co-workers and uh, i will see you in the next video thank you and have a nice weekend thank you so much